Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, let me show you how to use a calorimeter to measure the progress of an enzyme catalyzed reaction that involves color change. A calorimeter is a device used to measure the light absorbance of a substance. This is a simple diagram showing you how a calorimeter works. You have to place the solution you want to investigate into a small tube-like container called a cuvette. Then, allow light to pass through the solution. There is a light detector that can detect the amount of light passing through the solution under investigation. The higher the concentration of the colorant in the solution, the higher the absorption of light. Less light passes through the solution and is detected by the light detector. You will get a larger absorbance value. On the contrary, if the color intensity of the solution is low, less light will be absorbed. More light can pass through the solution and gives a smaller value for the absorbance. Do notice that sometimes the result is expressed as the percentage transmission of light. It means the same thing, but it shows how much light can pass through the solution. Percentage transmission for a clear solution will be very high, and for an opaque solution, it is low. Milk contains the protein casein. It is broken down by protease enzymes such as trypsin. As the reaction occurs, the opaque white color of the milk is replaced by a clear solution. So, as time goes by, light passes more and more easily through the solution. This is why the reaction can be monitored by using a calorimeter. Here is the procedure. First, place a fixed volume of trypsin solution and distilled water into a cuvette, for example, 1 cm cube of each. Use this as a reference cuvette to set the calorimeter absorbance to zero. This is the calibration of the calorimeter. We do this to teach the calorimeter that this is the end point of the reaction. When there is only trypsin left in the solution, we consider this as zero absorbance. Then, measure 1 cm cube of milk solution into a second cuvette. Add 1 cm cube of trypsin solution to the milk in the cuvette. Mix them well, and place the solution into the calorimeter. Start the stopwatch immediately. Record the absorbance, and then do it again at fixed time interval. For example, every 15 seconds for 5 minutes, or until there's very little change in the reading. Use the data to plot a graph of absorbance against time. By drawing attention to the initial part of the curve, you can determine the initial rate of reaction. This procedure can be used to investigate how enzymatic reaction is affected by a certain factor. For example, you can repeat the procedure by using different enzyme concentrations. For each experiment, calculate the initial rate of reaction. You will be able to develop the relationship between enzyme concentration and the rate of reaction. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.